Hey y'all, today is Tuesday, October 16th. I'm Taja. I hope y'all are doing well. Gotta stop saying that in my videos. But um, anyway, I want to talk to y'all about visions and what happened in my life. And the only reason why I brought this up because the last vision I had, which was like recently, it was like I was looking out a window and a hand was up like like this but it was like upside down and I don't know if I was looking at something red it was something tan it was dark and I don't know if that was a car or a person got in a car wreck because it happened the day before So having a vision is like you're you're seeing something as it is happening in that time before everybody else knows about it, before it's even being reported. I'm gonna try that explanation. And what it's like having a vision is it's not scary. It's like a dream, almost. Almost like a dream, but it's not a dream. So, you're awake and you're present while you're having that vision because somehow your body is like in a relaxed state and your mind is letting go and allowing you to see what you're seeing. So, when you are relaxed, when your mind and body are relaxed and you're letting go of your daily thoughts from the day the experience your experience that you're having when you're in the vision and I'm going to use this movie have y'all ever seen the movie Scrooge like okay that's one point you are the bystander and you're looking at what's happening that's one point then another point is the eyes of the person that is happening to are no longer there. So, your vision is the person's vision that is happening to. And sometimes, sometimes now, because I've experienced this, sometimes you will feel what's happening to the person. Sometimes you won't. Like, with my vision with Naya Rivera and my vision with Prince, like, Naya, I felt that she couldn't breathe, and I couldn't breathe. I couldn't catch my breath. With Prince, like, how do I explain Prince? Because, wow, that was, that was crazy. With him, um... It was a little bit of aches and pains. Stomach was hurting. And then. Nothing. Like literally that was it. And. That's sometimes. What you feel. And I don't, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because we have a connection with these people. Or if it's something that we're supposed to feel as an experience. But those are literally the points that you would see it from. So you will be watching as a um, third person, I guess. And then you will be experiencing it as like first person. Like your eyes or their eyes. Their eyes are your eyes now. So you're seeing what they saw. Before they actually died, died. Before their soul is even out of their body yet. And it's not scary. Although it can be a little confusing. Because you really don't know what this 
person or this soul or this being is going through until you get the vision, get the picture, you know what I'm saying? And before those pictures, you know, flash up in your mind, this is all I can say what happens to me when I have a vision. And sometimes you don't even have to have a vision. You don't even have to be asleep to have a vision. You can like literally be awake and they come to you. Or you can hear certain things sometimes. I'm not lying to y'all because I don't know one day I thought I heard something. I don't know what it was. I could hear a phone ring or something or a scream. But I don't know. It's just like some stuff like that. Sometimes you won't you won't really hear those things all the time unless you're really in tune with your abilities. But that's what having a vision like. That's what it feels like. That's the experience of it. So I hope y'all like this video. I tried to explain as best as I could. Now remember to like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell, turn on post notifications, and I'll see y'all in another video.